Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. Today we read Psalm 48. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, beautiful in elevation, is the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion in the far north, the great city of the great king. Within her citadels, God has made himself known as a fortress. For behold, the kings assembled. They came on together. As soon as they saw it, they were astounded. They were in panic. They took to flight. Trembling took hold of them there, anguish as of a woman in labor. By the east wind, you shattered the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, which God will establish forever. We have thought on your steadfast love, O God, in the midst of your temple. As your name, O God, so praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your hand is filled with righteousness. Let Mount Zion be glad. Let the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments. Walk about Zion. Go around her. Number her towers. Consider well her ramparts. Go through her citadels, that you may tell the next generation that this is God, our God forever and ever. He will guide us forever. So this is a psalm, it says, of the sons of Korah. Whoever they were, we don't know. They were some musicians um, in the uh, ancient world. And here they're praising God, but the praise is sort of mixed with the praise of Jerusalem, Mount Zion. Now, um, they're talking about Mount Zion and Jerusalem as though the citadel there, the, the palace, the castle, the fortress, was so wonderful and so large and so astounding that, that kings just fell into panic when they saw it. I think there's a good bit of exaggeration there, frankly, but, you know, we'll let it stand as it stands. Um, it's certainly uh, high praise for the castle that was there and identifies that place with the presence of God. So this is where God is. This is where God lives. This is where God wants to be and... Um, this is where you find God. So if you're looking for truth and righteousness, you go to Jerusalem, you climb Mount Zion, and there you find it. And he will live there forever and ever, and he will be our guide. Um, Tarshish is, a, is a, a name in the Bible that means kind of way the other end of the Mediterranean, way out yonder, you know, Spain. In, in very vague terms. They didn't really know what was in Tarshish, and they didn't really care. Um, but, you know, there were people out there, and so ships came from there, and uh, and God destroyed those ships, at least in their in their minds. Um, I can't, I don't remember, don't know of an occasion when that happened, but it may have happened. So this is a psalm of praise, praise to God, praise to God who lives in the, fortress of Mount Zion, so lives in the temple and lives there. Um, that's where his presence is located, and so that's where you go to praise to praise him and to find him, and he will be our God forever and ever. We don't have that kind of faith in Christian faith. Um, for us, we say, well, Jesus is with us no matter where we go, everywhere. God is everywhere. Um, and if God is everywhere, then in, in a certain sense of the word, he's no place. He's nowhere. Um, we don't have a specific place where we say that's where God lives. God doesn't live in, you know, Hagia Sophia in Istanbul, or God doesn't live in in the, uh, the uh, Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, and God doesn't live in, in the Vatican. God is everywhere. So he's, he, there's no one spot you can go to and say, ah, that's where you find God. Um, for many people, uh, though, um, the church, the, the sanctuary, the actual building is there, is the house of the Lord, and that's a place that's holy, and that's a place where God is is um, present to many people in a different way than 
than just, you know, in your kitchen. And so uh, we do have that sense of a place that we go to where we where we talk to God and experience God, but it's not quite the same as the ancient um, the ancient Hebrews where, you know, God really did live in that temple, and that's really where you find God, and everywhere else you're just looking toward the temple, toward God. So, so we have a different sort of faith, and that has different ramifications for how we live our lives. You could think about that today, and... Um, Just, you know, it's a great day, so have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.